The biggest thing about spiritual is that you want to feel like you have meaning in your life. You want to identify um, what brings you joy. And if you have those things, then you can keep going. Everyone has their own spiritual resilience, their background, their personal beliefs, their ideals. Um, it doesn't have to be a brick and mortar structure that they're going to be thinking of, attending to, or, or believing in. It could be just that simple aspect of having hope. For me, that became being outdoors, um, fishing, motorcycling, running, it became a big one for me. I pray, and when I pray, I just don't pray when I need it. I pray when I'm thankful. I can honestly say that this past year, since uh, I came back from my deployment, I found a great church that I go to now, and um, I love it. I love going every Sunday. I feel like it's a, a reboot for my week. Spirituality and resilience almost go hand in hand. Um, I believe myself that everything happens for a reason. Um, I believe that God has a plan for me, and I believe that I don't always know what it is. And that's difficult for type A personalities as well, because you want to be in control of your destiny and what you're doing. Be open to something that you just can't explain, to something that you just, just wonder. You know, something in the universe that you can say, okay, it's bigger than me, it's bigger than all of us, there's more than just this. You can't see faith and you can't explain faith, but when you have that spiritual resilience, uh, it's going to be there for you and be there for you when you need it most. I think that will ha that helps me out in any situation and just being able to pray and know someone's listening is, it, is so important. It's people that I know who've been through the ringer that I want to ask, hey, I'm struggling with this. What are your thoughts? Because that's where the growth happens. And when we do that, things like substance abuse, things like sexual assault, things like domestic violence, all those things are in the crosshairs of Conference Airman Fitness. And we start to reduce those things because people are making decisions that are based on values that improve performance, strengthen relationships, and help them accomplish their goals. Being a person of faith does not mean a trouble-free life. It doesn't mean that we're going to be without suffering just because we have a strong spiritual pillar. Because I tell you, if you start believing in something that you truly don't have an investment in, then you're gonna wake up one day and wonder, why the heck did I waste my time? And then you're gonna run out of time to really find something you're passionate about.